Let's look into the film. In this video, we will be looking at TJ Vasher, Texas Tech wide receiver, six foot six, 215 pounds now. And I'm telling you guys, he developed into this guy that always tried to improve on himself. And he did just that. And with that investment of improving his body strength and upper body mechanics, and he, you can see in this video here, the growth process. Now he is the nephew of Nate and Vasher. And he picked up some of those traits by going over some heavy duty training with him as well. So if we look into this right here, he utilizing his big frame and his body to climb and grab that ball out of the sky. A few things that I want to say when I'm talking about wide receivers in general. Can they grab the ball out of the sky? Can they meet the ball? Can they greet the ball with their hands? And you see he does just that. Capturing the ball, using that frame and that body to pull that ball down out of the sky and he can do just that he make those weird acrobatic catches but i want to look at into the situation of him off the ball that is a major point right here what can he do far as blocking is he a willing blocker do he play through the echoes of the whistle do he help his contemporaries out in a pinch and you see that from time to time especially when you're looking at this film Wherever he's lined up at, he makes sure it's his duty to protect and also he makes sure it's his duty to get low. Look, six foot six frame. It's hard to do this now and washes this guy out of the frame and make sure that the runner is able to get extra yards. I like seeing that that hustle mentality that goes a long, long way with me. Those few small, subtle things that you would see out of a wide receiver goes a long way and that's the right type of attitude to have to help out your contemporaries to bring forth enthusiasm and these sorts of things look at him continue to run celebrating because of his running back of the team scored the touchdown and i love seeing that flat out do that goes a long way for number nine now the main thing is can he catch now when we look at it we're gonna let the play play out yes he can make those contested catches especially across the middle and you want that and need that look uh, let's go back to this play right here and watch it again in his natural state now as you can see it looks odd he put stresses on the db he's this db got a right plan of action he's looking at it saying i'm going to get physical with this tall six foot six giraffe i'm going to jam him i'm gonna press him and watch what happened watch what happened nope not today use that he got to the inside which is good the db is a great position but he swam right in there watch how you get that hook that arm over it he won <laughs> he already went in his route he can pretty much go wherever he want there's nothing he can do and this guy is already in his zone so he's covering the flat so he's not backpedaling to intercept this ball right here and all of this field is open so tj he does not need that crazy burst of speed because he got god-given talent which is height it's hard for you to defeat height when you don't have it right it's hard for you to climb the ladder when you're not able to purchase one. That's just what he is able to do. The ball was a little bit behind him, but he was still able to reach and grab that ball out of the sky. Just think about it right here. If the quarterback lead him a little bit anywhere into here, even though this guy, the top safety, is over the top, there's still too much cushion there for him to make a play on the ball, and he could have made a, a bigger play than this one, but he's able to win off of this release off of well off of his route he had to fight to win off his release and at the top of the route we see that tj is able to catch this ball out and pull it out of the sky that is what he brings to the table that extra dynamic of being a tall physical receiver and earning his respect out here and as you can see on this play let's pause it right quick the DB said, you know what? I respect you now. I'm going to play off ball from you now. And I'm, maybe I can dictate and see where you're going to go. And I keep my eye on the quarterback and you. And maybe we can do it in this fashion. Yeah. Boundary. Tech. Yeah. Got him. Bad pass by the quarterback. Look, this is so good because watch how he stopped his feet. Yeah, chop, chop, chop. He gets back into the transition there. 
and the ball is just north and way far away. To me personally, that's a route that's won by the wide receiver. Gets off his release, pretty smooth. He let us up at the top. Still good transition. Watch how the DB still slides. Uh, DB takes another extra step. Not able to stop. One, two, three. There's three other steps. Four, five, six. Yep. The ball is just thrown off awfully um, thrown right there. I love seeing TJ able to win one-on-one -on, -one on the outside there. And that's what you want to see. To me personally, on the next level, he can be that X receiver. May not be the fastest of the fastest guy. Watch him climb back inside and able to win off of this one. Let's look at it again. He can be that X guy. He can line up independently on the outside by himself. I believe that he brings this type of weaponry to anybody's team. And watch how he meets the ball and greets the ball with his hand. Comes off his release. They plan him. Look, they said, I'm not going to press him anymore. We see that he can get off that press. And he's able to pull that ball. That's a sure hands catcher. First down. I love seeing that. Being able to pull that ball in with your hands. When we look at wide receivers, you want a possessive guy. You want somebody that can pull the ball in. You want somebody that can capture the ball. Be that quarterback best friend out there. And this is just a quick, simple button hook. He's going to hook this thing right back inside and clear off everything. And this is all predicated upon how the DB is playing him. And he's able to get that free release. It's free for him. All of his releases now are free. He's in the bell tech. He bails out of it. Free release. You're not fooling me. Watch. He's going to give him, he's going to take away the boundary. He want to force him inside, and that's okay. Simple hook. A little round right there, but it's still good. Teams and oppositions are afraid to jam him if he's able to win off the first few times. So I like seeing this, Cowboy Nation, the ability, the ability to win off of your route. Okay, let's look at this, your typical three wide outs. You have your X receiver here. You got the slot guy over here on the opposite side. Here's TJ against a disguised single high safety look, and the DB bails out on it, and he's able to win off of this route. Even though he's showing impressions that he's going to jam him, he's not afraid of that. Uh, get off his release. He goes into a bail kind of early, and TJ, he just works that inside, and the quarterback overthrew him. Quarterback flat out overthrew him. He won that route. It's a good route combination for TJ. He got pretty good feet for his size and height. And his knock was, of course, his size as relates to his strength. Man, look at this play right here. He's able to pull the ball out of the sky, showing him a little bit more respect. Look how off the ball they line off, off of him, pretty much off the loose man zone concept and what i like to see out of this is tj winning on his route let's see what happened off of this particular release mm, climb climb cut back <laughs> and kept him running straight so he actually was able to sell the vertical and he come back to catch up some of this real estate and that's about 15 to maybe 17 18 yards and the ball traveling is going 20 because look at the hash mark where the quarterback is at so i like seeing this tj is able to get back to the ball look fight the ball fight in get two feet down that's the nfl catch right there with the two feet in i love seeing that so i believe in the hearts of hearts this kid he still got some rawness to him, but his ability to reach out and grab and pull that ball out of the sky is amazing to me. And let me see. They might try to do this again. Now, keep in mind, TJ, six foot six, and they try to do that play again, and it didn't work. And here's why that didn't work necessarily. They should have flipped TJ to this side of the field, and they should have had this wide receiver out here on the out. Because what I want to do is ultimately use the short end of the field and I want TJ to use that six foot six frame and height and destroy this DB here. But this quarterback tried to move this ball way to the outside, which is pretty much that will be a very difficult throw in this type of situation. 
better been glad that it's not a pick. And he actually threw the ball so north and out of bounds that no one could have caught it but TJ. And looking back at this play, they should have moved TJ to the opposite side, gave him the short area of the field and throw a fade ball there. That would have been more of a uh, serviceable play, in my opinion. Now, TJ working the inside. That's where I want him to work at on the next level. I want this guy to make the physical tough catches, the drags, the cross the middles in that area, because I believe where his height and his size, he's going to force these guys to give him the underneath. They're going to look at his his speed and say, okay, well, we'll give you the underneath. And I think that he can eat pretty good with that. I really do. And I think that when you're talking about TJ in general, his ability to block and his ability to win off of his releases. That's why this is at the top, although the ball didn't go his way. Let's just take a look at his release. His release is pretty good. He kept low, didn't let up, and then he let up right here. He won that route. The quarterback can go right here all day. Although he got the guy underneath, he can just teardrop that ball right there. TJ won off of that route. It's the small, subtle things that you can see that this kid, even though he's six foot six, he runs pretty good. He runs pretty good. He's not the fastest of the fastest of the world. His straight line speed and these sorts of things is serviceable enough to win his individual battles. I think he, on tape, it looks like he runs a 4-4. And this is him again, springing open this other wide receiver for the first down. I like seeing this. Hat on hat guy. Physical. Get there. Mm, good block. Good block. That's first down right there. Blocking his mentality. You got to get in the way. Watch it. Got his hands into the inside. Yeah. All of those things count. Every single inch on this football field, you got to fight for it. Yeah, now, this is a slant pass. The reason why I put this out here, look at the height difference. Look at the stress levels that he put on that DB. In order for that DB to win. Ball behind him. Good release from the wide receiver. And if that ball was passed a little bit ahead of him, that's a touchdown. And look, this is a quick bubble. And he get upfield. And he can take it. So maybe on the next level, he might be one of those guys that's like a gadget guy as far as a tight end. I would keep him as a wide receiver, utilizing that height, putting that stress factors on the smaller DBs on the outside. And he can be one of those red zone efficiency guys. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you all feel of TJ. In my opinion, although he's raw, I think that the kid, he can win his one-on-one -on -one battles. He can high point the ball. He's a guy that developed in his years at Texas Tech, went from one size to another. Although 2020 was not the best years of his years, uh, I would say give this man an opportunity. Let's see what he can do during training camp and see if he can stay healthy and so let's go over everything he's six foot six he's 215 ish pounds now he gained an extra weight one reports he's saying that he's 225 and i'll have to see that in person but uh, i believe that this guy if he continue to be on that pathway of developing and growing and understanding where he need to be at as it relates to on the field whether it's a zone concept finding the soft spots in the zone stop rounding his routes and, and being that red zone threat, I think that he could bring a lot to the table. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you all feel of TJ Vasher. Will he have a chance of making his team? Is he just a camp body? Or is he practice squad material? Or once he get this silver and blue on him, maybe just maybe he'll light up the world. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute.